Hey everybody, it's Professor Davis here from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about electrophilic aromatic substitution. And as an introduction, we're just going to use the simplest aromatic we can make, which is benzene, and we're going to have that reacting with a generic electrophile, which I've just labeled as E in this example. So the pi electrons inside this benzene ring are aromatic, so they're pretty stable, but they're still not as stable as sigma bonding electron pairs would be. So there's a chance that they will attack to form a sigma bond if there's an energetic benefit to doing so. And of course electrophiles would be defined as electron loving species, electrophile, right? They are things that want to make new bonds by accepting electrons from other sources. So when we combine these two features we often get a reaction. And that reaction consists of the pi electrons from the ring attacking the electrophile. Okay, so let's watch that happen now. Now that the attack has occurred, we can see what's going on. We've sacrificed aromaticity so that we can turn one of those pi bonds into a sigma bond to the new electrophile. And in doing so, we've created a tetrahedral carbon and an adjacent carbocation. So we've lost aromaticity here, which is not so great, but we've made a new sigma bond, which is enough to get this reaction started. Now the next step in the reaction involves the introduction of a base. And this can be anything uh, that's even remotely basic. It's usually a solvent molecule, something like that. Anything that can accept that hydrogen from the tetrahedral carbon is likely to do so because in doing so, it gives the ring a method by which it can become aromatic again. And let's watch that happen now. Okay, our base has abstracted the proton and the electrons responsible for that CH bond are now back in the aromatic portion of the ring in a pi molecular orbital. So here we've reestablished aromaticity and that's what drives this reaction to completion. And you can see what we've ultimately accomplished here is that we have replaced one of the ring hydrogens with this electrophile. And in a future video we'll show you some specific examples with specific electrophiles and then we'll bring it up even another notch and show you what happens when you have substituted benzene rings. But for now this is the electrophilic aromatic substitution mechanism. Hope it's been helpful. I'll see you guys next time.